I think it's just it's a it's a step out of the ordinary, but it's not something where you're starting all over. It's a good way for to meet new people or to make new friends. It's a really awesome game. It's high energy, high speed, full contact. It's exciting. It's fun. It's a whole lot of fun. It's a great way to get in shape. It's a very good physical workout. Brass ball is a sport that encompasses pretty much any team sport out there, uh, particularly the likes of hockey, soccer, basketball, a little bit of lacrosse maybe. Brass ball was created um, about uh, eight years ago at uh, Westgate Park across the street from where I lived and Mike lived right just behind me. Uh, myself and Rich Goopsch and his brother were playing some hockey uh, on a street and we were playing with a tennis ball because we're poor and couldn't have real equipment. We decided to drop the sticks, pick up the tennis ball we were playing with and started throwing the tennis ball to each other and then eventually at the goal and it just kind of grew from there. And that's kind of the, the birth of it. I, I think we just kind of realized that we had something that was unique and different. Uh, it was a lot of fun still. We didn't really think to do anything of it the first probably five years. We were just, you know, whatever, we'll play it. Uh, and within the last maybe four years, and probably three or four years, is when we really said, let's do something with this. We just thought, hey, we got something that's interesting here. If people can hear about it, if people know what it is, we know people would like it. It, it took me a long time to even get my core guys to see what it could be. And once I kind of got that through, got, uh, you know, a certain segment of guys really started taking it seriously. Basketball's revolution in athletic street competition. Basically, we use a size one soccer ball, so it's about this big. There's five players plus a net minder to each side. You start off with a jump off in the middle. You can throw it in, head the ball in, kick the ball in. Uh, throwing a goal is one point. A kick is worth two points, and a header is worth three points. And if you throw or kick a ball behind the bonus line, that's an additional point. And also, there's a crease. It surrounds the goalie in front of the goal where you cannot shoot the ball with your hands. Like you can't kick the ball unless you're shooting at the goal. And there's holding calls offsides. And there's free run with the ball, you don't have to dribble. It's full contact. It's physical but it's not violent. You know, you can't trip, you can't tackle, you can't elbow or clothesline or anything like that. But there still is that element of finesse. This is a sport for all athletes wrapped up in one sport. Predominantly soccer and hockey guys. We have a lot of basketball guys. Um, we have uh, guys who played football. We have tennis, volleyball, wrestlers, uh, track and field guys. Anybody can play basketball. Anybody that has any kind of interest in sports, um, you don't have to be a professional athlete. You don't have to be a college athlete. You can just be some guy walking on, on the street and say, hey, can I play? Even guys who think they might be out of shape or anything, like there's a position for everyone. And to top it off, basketball is one of the best sports, in my opinion, to get in shape. So if someone's worried about that, I know we have guys that are like, whoa, I can't really run that much. It's like, you'll get used to it. You'll love it. Anybody that definitely still has a very competitive edge, I mean, the older we get, yeah, it's still there though. Uh, the net miners just have to be kind of quick, but they don't have to have a lot of endurance. Defensive minded players have to be stronger um, and uh, you know able to block shots. Offensive minded players have to have a lot of endurance. So it's really meant for a lot of different types of athletes. The biggest thing is change of direction. If you are not used to you know changing direction very quickly, that will take the wind out of you so fast. And with such long halves and with relatively few subs. There's really, you really need to be in some sort of decent shape. Other than that, anybody who's willing to get down and dirty, go dive after balls, uh, mix it up, 
rough it up if they have to and just kind of run around and have a good time, those are the people that can play basketball. Personally, I feel kind of weird playing with a girl, like with the rules drawn up the way that they are, just because I feel kind of weird about hitting a girl. <laughs> My mom always told me not to, so I think I should uh, avoid that. Even though I think it, it's a great sport for girls, if there was a co ed league or something like that, I think it would actually be a lot of fun. You know, you have to scale back on some of the physical nature of it, but I think a lot of that would be taken care of with the people themselves as opposed to an actual formal rule change just because most guys aren't going to just go like full bore with their shoulder into a girl or something like that. If they can take the hits and you know handle the rules in the competition that's fine with me I don't have a problem with that. So. We're very open to that uh, in fact I would like to have a women's league I think that would be um, very beneficial for the sport. <laughs> It costs seven dollars uh, each game that we have at the indoor court just because we have to rent the court the first time you play it's completely free uh, at the outdoor court uh, it's free but we're trying to raise funds and so we can uh, get into more events uh, and try to market the sport a little bit and that's two dollars we get new guys to come and play and they love it. We get people to come and watch it and they love it. And we just need to hammer that and really show the public that this is for real. This isn't just us playing, you know, pick up baseball in the backyard. This is a real le legitimate sport. The more effort that's put into getting exposure, the better. I know Mike's had uh, gotten a couple, a few articles in the Dispatch and uh, I think This Week magazine, he actually had a piece on wall-to-wall -wall sports. Things like that will help you know, get the word out more. You know, the more publications and the more media you can get into, however you can get into it, that's, you know, the better you're off you're going to be. Mike has done an exceptional job in beginning to kind of position the sport in the minds of health and physical educators in the state of Ohio. In our particular case, it would be something that we would want to put into curriculum in terms of phys ed uh, before we tried to go the school sponsored sport route. Sports would have to probably disappear or go by the by in order for another sport to be added. It's something you could do as a lifetime commitment. It's not something that's just, you know, for those years that you're in high school. Health and PE instructors throughout the state can teach younger, younger children about the sport and what the sport is and you can get buy-in at that point from, from professionals in the sport industry and then it can begin to expand into parks and recreation, YMCAs. And once it, it's integrated and success shows and kids start playing it by themselves, then selling the sport and selling how easy it is and how much fun the kids have is not a, is not a hard pick for a physical educator. It's going to probably in the next 10 years be more of a regional sport but I think that you know he's taken it from a lo just a very local small uh, entity into a statewide initiative right now and I think within just a few years it can be more of a regional sport. I certainly could see it uh, involving play you know in summer leagues uh, maybe even the college ranks it might be a little easier to do stuff like that uh, at college and, and possibly in some sort of curriculum for physical education. I, I don't think it's unrealistic to see it um, in, in colleges as an intramural sport. I don't think it's unrealistic to see it at rec centers or sports facilities as a competitive sport or recreational sport. Um, and even at, I'll be honest with you, I don't see any reason why it couldn't be on some sort of TV. I definitely could see um, some sort of legitimate league nationally.